that easy. you run away. I promise I won't get mad if you tell me. I know you say you won't get mad at me, but I can't tell you. I don't want to get yelled at. The kid was trying to get away from Mackie. I bet you anything he was up to no good. I hope you're not misbehaving. It makes me sad when my students don't behave. I'm sorry, Miss Farron. Guess I'll own up. The truth is, I sold something from Mackie. And that's why he was chasing you? What did you take? This necklace. It belongs to you, doesn't it? this anyway that belongs to Mackie doesn't it no it's mine it's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me Make my way 
Sarah, I believe you. Your sister's alive. She's out there somewhere. Thank you, Snow. Here, you hang on to this for a while. When I come back, it'll be with lightning. Then there's no way she can say no to us getting married. Okay. Okay. And that was the last time I saw snow. The memories I had of lightning standing on the plain beneath Cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believed them enough to do something. And doing nothing, right? Lightning and snow are long gone, but you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? I wanted to go. I wish I had. It's not too late. You can leave now, if that's what you really want. I know, but I just can't. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pressure you. In the end, the decision has to be yours. Artifact after all. Are you losing your touch, Mug? Coopo! It's not his fault. Come on, let's head back. Fact yet, huh? No, instead, my things are showing up in places they shouldn't be. I wonder if someone's trying to mess with us. I doubt it. No one here would do something like that. Hmm. I guess not. Unless they think they're doing the right thing. It might not be a person at all. I mean, with time and space being warped everywhere, anything could happen, really. Right. And that's how your things ended up out here? It's not a bad theory. Okay, so maybe we should ask if anyone else is missing stuff. Let's head to the house and find out. You know, I was thinking, if Noel here really is from the future, he must be pretty curious about this time period. That's true. We should probably explain a few things. I'm all ears. We were all born and raised on Cocoon. But three years ago, our home basically fell out of the sky. We couldn't rely on the broken foul sea anymore. So, most of us made the decision to move to Pulse. Weren't there millions of people living on Cocoon? It must have been pretty cramped. Well, it was. But on Pulse, we had to deal with new hardships, like vicious monsters and a lack of provisions. Sounds like a rough time. Yeah. But eventually, things settled down, and some former military types helped get things organized. Now, there's a growing town at the base of Cocoon's Pillar. The guys who used to be in charge are long gone. How did you end up in this place, then? Our leader, Snow, suggested we live somewhere near the ocean. 
We used to live in a seaside town in Cocoon, so it was like we were rebuilding our home. Snow and the rest of us were used to fighting monsters and getting our hands dirty. So we pretty much settled back into our old way of life. Snow's not around right now, so we do the best we can. But if lightning were back, everything would be so much better. So for everyone here, your sister being gone is the reality. 